Radio signals are electromagnetic waves that vary in frequency. A transmitter sends waves of one frequency to a tuned receiving antenna. The signals activate small motors linked to the plane's wings, tail, and rudder, which control pitch up and down motion, roll wings up, wings down, and yaw nose right, nose left. Combinations of those commands enable the pilot to control the flight path of the aircraft. Hobbyists in the 1920s and 30s embraced the new technology as much as military planners. And one, a Hollywood actor, partners with the government to advance it. Reginald Denny is a former gunner for Britain in World War I. When he isn't acting, he's building and selling model planes in his LA hobby shop. He comes up with a business idea. Hold it, these little planes that I've been building, they might be really useful by the military as target drones. And he ultimately sells around 15,000 of what are called Denny mites. During World War II, Denny's nimble planes make ideal practice targets for anti-aircraft gunners. Through its radio control system, uh, the, the Denny plane operator could vary the course, the heading, the direction, the attitude of the vehicle. He could climb, he could dive. And a gunner who could consistently place bursts of fire in or around a Denny airplane was a very good gunner indeed. Recognizing radio control's potential, the War Department greenlights a bold new application. The Army and Navy convert several B-17s and other planes into radio-controlled flying bombs packed with tons of explosives. We would have these bombers piloted by actual flight crews, and they would take the aircraft off the ground, and then they would parachute from it in flight. And the mechanism of guiding that airplane would be an escort aircraft. The remote operator would then continue controlling the airplane to the point that it hit a target. But remotely piloting a full-sized plane, jury-rigged and burdened by its massive payload, proves too challenging to overcome. Only one B-17 strikes its target, and it fails to explode. Engineers solve fundamental control issues as they build unmanned reconnaissance planes in time for the Vietnam War.